What's up, y'all? Welcome to the third part uh, of this uh, sculpting series. Uh, this part, we're going to cover retopologizing a sculpt. So normally, uh, when you're working uh, in sculpting in Cinema 4D, what you'll want to do is you'll want to go through and create a general mesh of, uh, of your character. So similar to what we have here, we've got this mesh. It doesn't have a lot of details. We haven't gone through and done any like, uh, uh, stamps or stencils or anything like that in order to really like bring out some fine details. It's very rough. Um, now, if this is like, for example, Homer is just, he's very smooth and it, there's not a lot of detail, but if you wanted to make this like, you know, Ren and Stimpy grotesque-esque looking uh, sculpt where you want it to look super photo real, uh, then uh, what you would want to do is you would want to get the initial sculpt down um, before you start going into all the details and then you would want to retopo it before you start doing your, uh, your, your fine details because you want to be able to have good UVs and good topology to work with whenever you're, uh, before you start doing your fine details. So right now we've got this base mesh. Let's go ahead and jump in and I'll show you how to start the retopology process. Okay, so we've got this Homer head. And as you can see, so what we're going to do to retopologize this thing is we're going to use the polygon pen. So let's go ahead and hit Shift C. You can see I've typed in polygon pen. You can also hit M and E. Um, so one thing to keep in mind with the polygon pen is we're gonna do something that I like to call the rule of six, where we're going to be creating six polygons around some of the big features, um, the eyes, the nose, the mouth, uh, the bottom of the head and the top of the head. Um, and then we're going to connect all of those pieces. Um, that will help us keep some really clean topology. And we're going to want to walk or uh, work around all the different kind of like crevices and stuff. And you'll see once we get into this, the, the polygons are going to look super chunky. And you're going to be like, this is really weird. This doesn't look good. But once we throw it into a subdivision surface, it's going to look fantastic. And that's the whole point of this is we're going to be creating good UVs and good edge flow um, in order to be able to put multiple materials onto one sculpt. So uh, another thing to keep in mind, we've gone through and created some of the details, but um, we're going to lose some of those details when we retopologize because we're actually going to go back and redo uh, some of the sculpting. So um, let's see, let's uh, grab our polygon pen and we're going to start on the mouth. Okay. And so we're going to do what I called the rule of six um, on our polygon pen. We're going to do our draw mode at points, um, auto weld and reproject results. Reproject results will allow you to uh, uh, project basically um, all your uh, points and edges and stuff onto the actual topology, which is fantastic. So as you can see, what I did there was I just clicked four times um, to create a polygon and closed it off. And as you can see in my object manager, it brings up a, a polygon. So now what we can do is if you click on the edge and hit control, you can add additional uh, polygons. So we're going to do six here. And because we've got that reproject result, you can see as I'm moving stuff, um, it, it moves it along with the, uh, along the topology. So, uh, here that's one, two, three, four, and I'm not going to connect. I'm not going to weld the two together here because if we're actually going through and animating this and rigging this up, we will want to have an open mouth and not a closed mouth. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, and six. So now you, you're saying to yourself, this is super chunky looking. And uh, let me show you something real quick. So first of all, we're going to throw this into a symmetry object. That's why we only have to work in half. Um, and then we're going to throw that symmetry object into a subdivision surface. Now, one thing, it looks weird right now because um, what we need to do is we need to make sure that all these points that are going to be on uh, zero are at zero. So we can select those four points. We can hit size and go to zero. That'll line everything up on the X axis. And then uh, we'll set our X 
uh, to zero. So then when we add symmetry and we do our subdivision surface, we, you can see when I turn off the Homer head, we get really clean topology and really good edge loops, which is fantastic. So now that we've done that, let's go ahead and work on the, uh, let's work on the nose. Um, so I'm going to grab my polygon pen again. And, uh, for this, I only have to actually do, um, three because, um, the, uh, symmetry is going to, uh, do the rest for us. Okay. So let's do this and then let's do three and you'll see it's, whoops, it is chunky. Let's grab that point here. Let me undo that. There we go. Then I'll move it here. So we've got that there. It's pretty gross, but it will clean up. So then let's bring this in, bring this in, and then add some more on here. And you'll see we can close this off for one quad. And then let's grab all of the points. Let's see here, 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 and then these two. And we'll do the same thing with the size and the position. And then when we do symmetry and subdivision surface, oh, it created new ones. Okay, let's go ahead and we will uh, connect objects and delete. There we go. So now you can see we've got this when we turn on our symmetry and our subdivision surface. Um, we've got some really clean topology. Cool. Now let's work on the mouth or the, uh, the eye, sorry. Um, so we're going to kind of work... Um, a little bit off of this. Let's see, grab our polygon pen, and then we're going to expand it off of here, right? So one, two, three, and you'll see this is really big. What we can do is we can bring this out a little bit. And we'll, we'll adjust some things once we get some, uh, uh, the whole point of this is that we can get some good edge flow. Um, and you're thinking to yourself, wow, that's, that's, that's a lot. Um, uh, that's weird. Um, it's going to look super bad, but you'll see, let's see, is this one, two, three, four, five, and then we will, um, connect those. That's not right. So one, one, two. Okay. There we go. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Okay. One, two, three four, five, and then we'll connect that, and that'll be six. So I'll go ahead and move this up here. You'll see it looks gross. Yes, it does. But we're going to add some edge loops in here to make it look good. And similar to what we did with the nose is we're going to go in and do some more. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then we can close off the quads. And you'll see, and once we, uh, we need to fix our points again. Here, everything here, everything here, zero and zero. Symmetry, subdivision, that's really, really clean topology working around the eyes. And uh, you'll see, you'll be like, oh, well, that doesn't really look like Homer's nose. That's okay. The biggest thing about this is getting the clean topology and uh, getting this to something that's workable because we're going to go back in and re-sculpt this. So let's turn this off. Let's go into our capsule. And what we're going to do is I'm going to create um, another six-sided polygon here on the bottom uh, so one, two, three, or not a six sided polygon. I'm going to create uh, three and three. So as you can see, then that one will be, uh, that one will be cloned or symmetry. We'll have symmetry on it. So then we'll go size there, position there. So now, now what we can do is we can go through and we can start connecting these. Um, <clears throat> oh, and that happened again. We'll connect those two and we'll object connect objects and delete. Cool. 
So now we can go through, let's do our polygon pen and let's do the top of the head, okay? So one, oh boy. So here's a problem that I dislike about the polygon pen is that sometimes you have to work inside of your, uh, your mesh because it's going to reproject the results onto some of your other stuff that you've got. So we'll do this and then we'll close, whoops. We will close this off and see it didn't even, didn't even reproject the results there, but that's okay, we can add it. Oh, and actually this needs to be flipped. That's okay, we can do that. So let's grab this, we'll put this over here, over here, over here, and here's the one of the sucky parts is that um, sometimes when you're connecting your things, um, uh, it will try and connect to something down there. Like say, for example, if I'm just going along, it'll try and connect to that one down there. You gotta be very aware of that uh, so that you don't let that happen. Okay, so um, now you see some weirdness here. What we can do is we can do um, a loop selection uh, on our lines. And because we've got good edge flow, it selects it really well. And then do MO, and we can slide out some more details here. So you can see as we grab our polygon pen and then reproject the results, it's something more similar to uh, what we are getting um, on his actual topology around his face as we go through and just kind of move these points. which is cool. And then you can see, let's go ahead and move this little, this little thing up there. Symmetry, subdivision. And it's good to always look at your stuff as you're going along. Okay, now let's go ahead and start building off of this. So we can probably do that and that. Uh, there, okay. And let's see if we can connect these. I know I want to. Connect those, let's see, didn't quite connect. And we can do this. See now, here's, here's one part that's gonna look really weird because his head's gonna be basically flat what we can do is once we get, uh, once we, uh, we can do an edge loop around here um, and then we'll add some more details. So let's do this. And what I wanna do is I actually want to, let's see, that's a really big pole right there. Um, so this is a pole right here. You can see it's got five points going into it. Um, one thing about, uh, retopology is you're going to run into some poles at times. Um, and it's okay. Uh, the best, uh, course of action when dealing with poles is to make sure that your, um, your poles are in a place that aren't going to animate, um, a lot. So like, for example, this is kind of up here near his head. Not a lot is going to move. You know, you'll get some eyebrow movement, but uh, uh, not a lot is going to move here. So you won't get like some weird pinching and stuff going on. Okay, so um, another important thing that we need to notate. Let's see, let me turn off my thing real quick and double check. Okay, so loop there. Loop there, like this should be down. Then let's start adding loops here. Oops, turn that off. Oops, don't worry about that. Turn Homer back on, and we'll start getting into this. Three, four, oops, four, Five, six, and the big point of this is to create um, uh, good UVs. So like, for example, we want his beard, you know? And so 
we want to make sure that we've got some good UVs for his beard, uh, some a good selection for his beard. Let me go through, we can do this. Okay, and then I'm going to square off, square off the, uh, uh, the ear right there. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. Oops, like that. So what do we got here? One, two, three. Three, four, five, six. So now that you kind of get the gist of it, I'm going to fast forward um, to the end result of uh, the finished apology. Okay, as you saw, uh, I just kind of sped everything up so that you can see. Um, but basically, I uh, created this, and let's go ahead and go into our symmetry. Actually, let's uh, select all of our points on the edge, um, and then let's get rid of the mouth ones. And we'll see what this looks like. So size, zero, position, zero, symmetry, subdivision, surface. Um, let's turn off our original Homer, and that doesn't look too bad. Um, we've got a pole here, um, but they're all quads, and I think that's okay because that's not going to move that much. Cool. So now that we've got this, what do we do with this? See, we've got good UVs in case we wanted to go ahead and create the beard um, uh, in actual like textures and stuff. We can follow along this edge loop. And uh, you'll see if I do UL, um, I've got a really good UV there and there. So if I wanted to uh, uh, make a, uh, a selection just for that, I can, which is awesome. Now, uh, one thing I would want to do is I want to go in and move this, uh, this point just a little bit to be a little bit smoother along there. There you go. So we can select that. And then uh, let's turn off the capsule. There we go. Yeah, that'll be a lot smoother now. And we can do this as well. Cool. So now that we've got that, what do we do with this? Okay, so what we're going to do is um, I'm going to take it out of the subdivision surface, and you can see it's pretty gross, you know. It's fine, but we've got quads, which is great, you know. And that's the important part. We've got quads all around. Um, um, and any poles, you know, that we've got... Uh, uh, are in parts that don't matter that much that won't be animating. And we've also got good edge loops for like our eyes and our mouth and stuff. Um, and this is really, you know, it's, it's low poly, which is fine. That's what we want. So um, I'm going to go ahead and copy this symmetry and throw it into a null and just call this ref because in case I need to go back to it at any point. Um, and then I'm going to take this symmetry object and I'm going to make it editable to make it one polygon. You can see. So now, UL, I've got you know good edge flow all the way around, all the way around the eyes, all the way around the eyes, all the way around the eyes, cool, and then all the way around the nose as well, which is awesome. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring these planes back up and we're gonna re-sculpt this thing. So let's go ahead and go to our polygon. Let's go to sculpt. And then let's subdivide this a couple times. So the initial subdivision, uh, we'll put it on. Oh, we need to be out of um, out of uh, uh, ed, uh, polygon mode, edge mode. No, uh, polygon mode, yeah. <laughs> um, so now you can see once we go through and we redo this, let's do our grab tool. Um, let's make sure on our grab tool that, um, and let's save this real quick. Um, symmetry X and Y, and then link size, link pressure, link symmetry is on. And uh, we can go ahead and just start moving this stuff to get it back into its original position um, that we lost whenever we started retopologizing. You can see, let's go ahead and bring this down here um, and here. And here's something that's cool. So this grab tool, let's go to our settings, let's do surface distance. And then we're just going to grab the mouth. You see, it doesn't grab the bottom part of the mouth. 
Um, and then same with the uh, with the nose. Um, let's bring this down. Let's bring. Let's do this. Let's make this. Whoops. It's one thing about the middle mouse click. Let's bring this out. Cool. Let's go ahead and bring that down. Let's make this bigger. Let's turn off surface distance. So we want it to be on his nose kind of out. There we go. Turn back on surface distance. Make that go out like that. That's cool. A little flappy doodle. Make the mouth go down here if we really wanted to. That mouth down. Move that out. Let's move this up. Let's turn off surface distance. I want more of it to move. Cool. And then let's do this side like we did earlier. Grab that. Do a big amount. And we're just going through and we're just reshaping it because what we're going to do is we're going to go back through and we're going to, um, let's turn, okay, surface distance is on. We're going to go back through and we're going to redo some of the stuff because now we got U good UVs, we can work with this. All right, I think that's pretty good. Let's bring his head out a little bit. And so let's turn on our eyeball symmetry. There you go. And see, so now really the only things that we need to do are the, um, like the ears and, uh, uh, bring a, out a little bit more into his eyebrows. Um, I would do want to, uh, make this a little bit rounder. Yeah. So then we can go back into our pole and we can start pulling it. Let's subdivide it one more time. See, go around the eye. Pull, 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 pull it out, pull it out, pull it out, pull out the brow too. He looks kind of angry there. Let's smooth them out. Just hitting shift to smooth out. Smooth, smooth. Let's bring down the amount. Smooth that out. Yeah, he does look really angry. <laughs> That's okay. We can uh, grab his eyebrows and make it a little bit softer, right? Oh, he's he's in a good mood. That, pull that out. There we go. Smooth it out, smooth it out, smooth it out. Cool. And then we can go through and we can create the ears. Let's go ahead and pull this out. Make the, it's more intense. Go ahead, do our half crescents. I said crescents, I think it's croissants. <laughs> we can go through do the pull, let's move that out just a little bit. Then we can do our um, pinch. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's bring down the, the amount that it pinches. We can go through and we can pinch this. And there we go. So let's go ahead and turn off our plane. And we've got Homer with really good uh, topology, really clean topology, really good UVs and stuff, and it's ready to go. And you can see also when we're doing this, because we did this, the um, the polygon count um, actually went down significantly versus our, uh, our original Homer sculpt. So let's go ahead and move this over and you can see the amount of polygons we have versus the original sculpt. And so what we can do here is we can go in and we can use our poll um, uh, uh, in order to add more finer details if we're wanting to go into there and do like the really grotesque looking, you know, photorealistic stuff. Um, but that is basically it for retopology. Um, what you can do is you can go through and you could rig up this, uh, this character now, um, if you really wanted to. Um, but that is the basics from A to Z in sculpting in Cinema 4D. I hope you had a good time because I had a good time doing this tutorial. Um, but yeah, uh, make sure to check out more stuff on our website, uh, mograph.com. Um, and to sign up for all the mini classes, check out the tutorials, make sure to check out the, uh, the weekly, uh, podcast as well. Thank you so much for sticking around. We'll see you in the next one.
MoGraph.com, an online resource for motion graphic artists. Start your week with the MoGraph podcast, industry news, interviews with your favorite artists, and terrible humor. Watch live shows and interviews from MoGraph events like NAB, SeaGraph, HalfRes, and local meetups. This is exactly what I should be doing. <laughs> Our MoGraph talks feature live demos and motivation from artists all around the world. Sometimes you gotta make stuff that you're not gonna put on your reel, and I'm not here to judge. What if Rick and Morty show up for the countdown at midnight? That's where I peaked in life, in my career. We gotta stop this thing, Rick! It's gonna kill us all! Hear from the people that create your software, design your render engines, and artists that are changing the face of modern motion graphics. You get that render done. Yeah, you better frame, frame what? MoGraph tutorials and online classes will teach you about Cinema 4D, After Effects, as well as other popular software and render engines. Throw in HDR Studio, take the render settings, pick the HDR, put in a reflection, and gorgeous. Join the conversation in our live sessions. <laughs> That's so funny, all right. I'm gonna live forever. <laughs> <laughs> Subscribe today and get the latest updates on our YouTube and other social media channels. Take all your dreams and just do it! Subscribe to MoGraph.com.